How's it going everybody? Jack Sullivan here uh, with another video. This is day negative two. And what I mean by that is uh, my first injection is Wednesday and I want my, you know, day one to be the first injection. Um, so that's why I'm, this is negative two. Yesterday was negative three in my first video. Um, but today I'm just going to talk a little bit about my concerns uh, with Pal and Zeke. There are a lot of positives, but just a few concerns. Um, and not all, not all of them are medical. Uh, just how it's going to change my life. So uh, make sure to stick around. All right, so obviously my main concern is the allergic reactions that are possible. Um, from what I've heard uh, from Dr. Terry Harding, the leading geneticist in the PKU field, uh, is about roughly half the people um, don't have much allergic reaction and, and they're, they're going to be fine. Um, and around 40% of the people rough numbers, but around 40% of the people uh, do do have some allergic reaction, but nothing crazy. And then around 10% of the people have too bad of an allergic reaction that they can't really continue the treatment. So that that's that's who Pal and Zeke's really not going to work for is those 10% of people that do have uh, allergic reactions. Uh, there's no way to tell who's going to have those severe allergic reactions um, basically until you try it. So I, I could be one of those 10%. I also could be one of those 50% uh, people who really don't have much trouble and can uh, up my dosage uh, pretty quickly. Um, so there's there's one concern, but it's also, uh, you know, I, more than likely, uh, I'm going to be totally fine um, and going to be able to uh, continue with the treatment. All right, so the second reason kind of goes hand in hand with the first one, uh, very much so actually. Um, it's about the allergic reactions. What happens if I actually do get an allergic reaction? Some people break out in kind of hives uh, or, or skin rashes. Some people have some joint pain. That's the one I'm most concerned about since I do play golf um, uh, on a somewhat national level. Um, at least I compete at a national level. Um, definitely a lot of players that are that are better than me. Um, but uh, I, I'm worried about that interfering with my with my golf game, I don't think it will. Uh, I should be able to take some Benadryl, and it, and it should, you know, we should be able to, you know, uh, keep it uh, keep it under control. I should say. Uh, in addition to these kind of minor side effects, I do have to carry an EpiPen with me uh, as soon as I begin treatment, just in case I have some severe allergic reaction, which does not happen very often at all. I haven't heard of any cases. I'm sure there are some cases um, where you have to use an EpiPen to to basically keep yourself breathing. You know, you, you have too much of a allergic reaction that you can't you can't breathe. Um, but you know, most people are are completely fine. Nobody's gotten uh, severely um, hurt due to this drug, so I think we're going to be okay. Also, guys, I just want to throw in: I'm not being paid at all uh, to make these videos. This is simply for. Uh, just for the PKU community to try to help some people out if they're if they're not sure um, if they want to try Pal and Zeke. Um, I certainly am very excited about the prospects of being able to eat uh, a normal diet, normal healthy diet. Um, so we'll see what what ends up happening. But I'm not paid at all. This is no sponsorship. Um, hey, Biomarin, if you want to sponsor me, hey, go ahead. But um, other than that, you know, I, I'm just doing this for public service. Now I would say the third main reason, um, you know, I, I am worried about about possible allergic reactions and side effects, but I would say the main reason that I'm truly having reservations about going on Pal and Zeke, and, and I'm going to go on Pal and Zeke, there's no doubt about it, um, but the main reservations I have is if Pal and Zeke ends up working. Um, I'm 18 years old. PKU has been a has been an instrumental part of my life. Um, it's brought me it's brought me uh, life experiences that I wouldn't trade for the world. If I could go back and if I could if I could have myself be born without PKU, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't trade the experiences that PKU have brought me for the world. I've met some unbelievable people. Um, I've had some truly great experiences. Um, and I've had a lot of life lessons that PKU has brought me. And um, to think that, to think that if this drug works and 
all PKU would mean for me on a daily basis is just a daily injection, or it's just a, an injection that I give myself. Um, it's kind of weird to think about. It's kind of um, jarring to think my life would change so dramatically, mostly for the better, 95% for the better. But there is that, that part of me that thinks, you know, is this really something that I want? And yeah, it is, but it's not 100% it's not positive because I know that, that PKU has taught me so much over the course of my life. And, and to just to, to be rid of it, kind of or the possibility of being rid of it is, is kind of strange. Um, I'll talk about this more in my later videos. Um, as we as we continue as we not continue the treatment as we start the treatment um, and we'll see we'll see what ends up happening I could be saying all this and it may end up not working for me um, I definitely hope it works uh, there's no part of me that that you know that wants to be on that wants to be that wants to have to eat a low protein diet for the rest of my life I really don't want to do that but but there are going to be some days where I miss as weird as it sounds, I'm going to miss my formula. I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss low protein foods. It's just what I've grown up with. Um, I definitely wouldn't trade uh, my PKU for the world. Uh, it's been one of the most, uh, one of the biggest blessings on my life uh, that I've ever, I've ever felt, I've ever, um, I've ever recognized. It's, it's really been quite amazing all right so guys thank you so much for watching this video uh, i'll be make sure to uh talk more about these serious topics as we go along um today i know like i just said was was more of a serious video uh but we're gonna have some fun along the way um and i hope you guys will stay tuned uh day one my first injection is on wednesday and i will make sure to um if i don't get a video out that day i will be I will be documenting that day in my first injection, so I'll make sure to get that uploaded uh, uh, in the next few days after Wednesday. So make sure to stay tuned, check back for that, and uh, thanks so much for watching.